everybody, it's Lori. Welcome back to another video. Very happy to have you here again today with me. And today we are painting on a cradled wood panel. And this panel is about six inches square with a three quarter inch depth on the sides. And I'm starting right off here. Um, this panel, I already did put a coat of gesso down. So I did that off camera so that I was ready to start right away with recording for you. And this is a, a custom green that I had just mixed up that I'm applying to the board here. And I am painting the sides as well as the front. So Earth Day is April 22nd this year and I wanted to do an Earth Day inspired painting. And this is what this is geared towards. And so as usual, I will speed this video up in just a few areas, you know, where I paint or use a hairdryer or things like that, that'll help um, make the video a little bit shorter for your viewing pleasure. Looks like I just removed one of my paintbrush bristles that fell off there in the paint. That happens occasionally. down some neon blue that I mixed with some gesso and, and this is going to be part of my sky area here on this painting and this painting is very intuitive I had no idea what I was going to paint um, I kind of had the thought of painting a bird and um, but I didn't really know how I was going to go about it and what I did is I just started painting and I sort of went with the flow and this is what I received and this is what came out. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and can hit the like button and possibly subscribe. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. If you've already subscribed, thank you. That means a lot to me and I hope you're enjoying my videos. So I just um, look like I spotted a little bit of that blue with a rag just to lift up some of that paint, make it a little bit lighter. And now I'm adding more green here down to this lower part. Occasionally you will see me use my blow dryer to heat up this and uh, dry the paint a little bit quicker so we can move on to the next step. And in this one here, uh, looks like I'm showing my gesso and I'm going to be applying some of that. And there goes the tip of my paintbrush. <laughs> it cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> it just went flying off. Alrighty, well I put it back on and we continue onward here. I feel like it wouldn't be a video of mine if there weren't any bloopers in it, right? <laughs> oh, anywho, so now I'm putting down some more blue paint here and we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> so I just applied a little more heat there to that blue paint and then I used one of my um, oil pastels and I did the sides and the front here drawing some lines on the board panel and now I'm applying more gesso up at the top area where that blue is what I did is I painted over part of that green up at the top there and uh, with the blue and I wasn't loving that area it was looking a little dark over there 
But I think right around this point is where I'm sort of seeing like um, a skyline and the white as I'm laying it down reminded me of clouds. And so this is where my inspiration or my intuitive painting sort of kicks in, if you will. And I started doing clouds and actually one of them turned out to be in the shape of a heart, which was totally unintentional. And that just occurred as well. So here's where the painting starts to take form and take shape in my mind's eye anyway. And now, as you saw there, I showed that I had my um, alcohol ink marker here, and this is the yellow-orange color. Um, a brush marker and they're water based and they're really cool they kind of act like watercolor markers although it doesn't say it's a watercolor marker on the package it just says brush markers but they're really cool if you spray water on them that you know spreads out like watercolor does it's really cool to use but in this case I'm not sure I don't think I spray water on it but we'll see And this is why my hands are always so dirty when I paint. <laughs> I love connecting with the paint and the painting and everything and the pens and the brushes. And I just end up smudging it here with my fingers and um, I like the look of it. So that's why I'm always so dirty. <laughs> And now it looks like I've grabbed the orange brush marker and going over some areas with that color now. And now I have the yellow in my hand. Same brush marker, just yellow. And now it appears I'm doing the sides here with a brush marker. I can't quite tell if that's black or brown, but it's one of those two colors. Okay, now it looks like I've used a darker green and a lighter green here. And these are the brush markers as well. And 
And now I reached over and grabbed a white oil pastel, and I'm gonna use that here. Okay, so at this point I'm turning it around so that you can take a look at from what I'm seeing. And I put it back down and I'm noticing just under the clouds there, it appears to look like sort of like a mountain range off in the distance. And I like that look, so I'm sort of going to enhance this part of it at some point. I'm not sure if I'm about to do that now. Yes, I must be because I grabbed a brown brush marker. So that's probably what I'm doing here. So it kind of looks like a skyline with some clouds and some mountains off in the distance. And that's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm working with now. like what I have here is I sketched out a little bird sort of like a silhouette of a bird on a piece of tissue paper um, that I had nearby I did that earlier and I'm gonna use that to go ahead and paint my bird on this panel and if I remember correctly here I'm adding some water that I had on my palette knife and I'm just sort of blending in the paint and making some marks here on my uh, abstract painting because it wouldn't be me without marks. <laughs> So at this point, it appears I picked up my bird sketch here again. I'm just showing you what I have here so you can see what I'm working with. It's just a basic sketch. It's obviously uh, <laughs> nothing special, but it's sort of what I'm going to use as my guideline for my bird here. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to place my bird. So my bird in this area here, it's um, gesso that I'm using in a small brush, obviously. And I think at this point I'm thinking I do want to add a sentiment to this painting a little bit later on as an embellishment. So I think that's why I was adding those areas there. I think that's what I was thinking in my head and maybe that's where I would put it. It turns out that is not where I put it. You will see that later in the video. Looks like I have my brown brush marker and I'm just adding some darker areas here to the bird sort of like outline and things like that and I will add a lot more color to it as I go here 
you will see that as I go. I don't think I need to explain it all, so I'll just let this video start to play out now. I'll come back on and add narration where I need to. So I used some China markers, black and white, and also a Posca pen to add some color and highlights to my bird. And now I'm adding just little bits of paint here and there, and I'm using my hands like I prefer to do <laughs> many times just to add some color in certain places. And it looks like I'm drawing in his little feet here. And then I think afterwards what I do is I take a, a brush marker and yep, and I do a branch. So it looks like he's sort of sitting on a tree branch. done with my bird here and I'm just going to go ahead and add some more color to the background. attention to detail when I paint <laughs> and in my artwork so here I am just doing some like final last minute you know detailing work here so I'm just about done here and I'm gonna give you a nice close-up in a moment after I was finished I added a nice sentiment to this piece and I will show you in another video how I go about doing that because I went to do it on this one and it did not work it did not record so my apologies but it does say life is a gift sing your song and i just thought that was really pretty for this painting so i hope you enjoyed it please hit like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon on the next video thanks bye bye for now